Hey, and peace be upon you, my dear friend. Let's talk about our nafs, but first, let's clear some misconceptions. Your nafs and your soul are two different things. Your soul is your spirit, referred to as the ruh, but your nafs or your desires are part of your soul, hence part of your being. But don't fall into the trap of thinking that your nafs are evil. Your desires can lead you to do either good or bad. And the aim is to purify your soul. In Arabic, this is called Taskiyatul Nafs, purification of the soul. Here are three levels of your desires so that you can become more self-aware. Nafs al Amara. These are your carnal desires. At the lowest level, the nafs commands us to do bad things. <gasps> but don't neglect them. Instead, learn to control them. Nafs al -lawama. This is a blaming soul. When we do something wrong, or fail to do something right, our soul starts blaming us. Oh my us. god, you hurt his feelings. <gasps> Did you miss Fajr? Don't you have self-respect? This means that progress has been made. Because the soul which was previously commanding us to do wrong things is now blaming us if we do them. Nafsal Mutma'inna This is a tranquil soul. In Surah Al-Fajr, Allah says, Ya ayyatuha nafsal mutma'inna O soul at peace, irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan marziya Return to your Lord pleased, pleasing. Fadkhuli fi ibadi Then enter among my servants Wadkhuli jannati And enter my paradise Therefore, in order to enter heaven Our souls must have reached this stage It is a soul that remembers God all the time and has become pure. So let's support each other to embark on a journey towards purifying our souls. We hope you've benefited from watching this video from all of us at Safir TV. Ma'asalaam.